Hey, it's Neville Medora here. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the ADA formula and why it is so important in sales in every single thing that you write. You see, the ADA formula is designed to lead people through a logical process that gets their attention, gets them interested, makes them desire the product internally, and then gives them a way to close the deal. So going through these steps in order is one of the best ways to convince someone to buy a product, buy a service, convince them of an idea, or take any action. So here's what the ADA formula is in a nutshell. It's an acronym, it's A-I-D-A, -A, that's all you gotta remember, and it means attention, interest, desire, and action. So the attention part means you grab someone's attention with something catchy and relevant. The interest part means you tell them interesting facts or uses of the product. And then the desire part makes them desire the product or service. And the action part gets them to take a specific action. Either you click a button or you reply to an email or you sign up for a calendar. Now, let's break that down into sections to understand it a little bit better. First of all, getting attention. This is when you try to get someone's attention with something you think they will think is interesting or curious. They might not be paying too much attention when they come by your pitch, so this should be something very relevant to them. Here's an example. Do you have a 401k savings account? If someone's browsing for information about that and they see that, they'll likely get a little bit interested in that. Or example two, I noticed you seemed a little unhappy in life. I mean, if someone's unhappy in life, uh, that would be a really attention getting phrase. Or example number three, hey, do you work out? So if you see someone that's looking for information about health and you ask them, hey, do you work out? That would be an interesting grab that's relevant to them. Now let's go to the interest part. Now you need to keep their interest with interesting facts or interesting quotes or interesting use cases of your product or service. So an example would be, you can use these LED candle lights for accent lighting to light up Halloween pumpkins, add some soft lighting to a room or even as a night light. You notice how in this section, we're actually giving them multiple uses for a product that they may not have even thought about. Maybe they're looking for LED candle lights for their dining room table, but they never thought that they could also use that same thing to light up a Halloween pumpkin. Example number two, you're 85% more likely to work out if you schedule time the night before. So this is a great little interesting stat that you're so much more likely to work out if you schedule time the night before that they may not have known about before and you're giving it to them in your copy. Or example number three, our insurance company has been around for 185 years, making us the most dependable insurance company in the United States. Now, if you're looking for an insurance company and you're looking for dependability and someone who's been around a long time, well, this is a pretty interesting stat that this company has been around for 185 years. So you're trying to give them interesting stats, interesting quotations, interesting use cases, interesting facts in this section. Now let's get to the desire section. And this is one of the most commonly confused sections of all because sometimes it blends in with the interest a little bit. But what you wanna do is make them desire the product or service themselves. This means internally, they just really, really want it. So you need to show them how life will be better with your product or with your service. So let's go into some examples. Example number one, you could do it by hand or sew dresses 35 times faster with this handheld sewing device. So in someone's head, if they are sewing a dress and they have this handheld device they could do 35 times faster, that's an interesting thing to make their life better and make dresses even faster. Or how about this, example number two. Jason got a 35% bump in Shopify sales by installing this app. You can get similar results right away. So you're thinking in your head, well, I can get similar results to Jason by getting that 35% bump in sales. And then you start thinking in your head, well, I make 100K a year off these sales. So if I do 35% more, it's 135K. You start envisioning your life with those results. Example number three, once I started using Calendly, I never had scheduling mix-ups for a call ever again. So if you're looking for something like a calendar program, you've probably had a bunch of scheduling mix-ups and this person's quotation and testimonial will say that, you know, I never had a scheduling mix-up for a call ever again. And you can see yourself never having to reschedule a call again and why the product is so valuable. The last thing to do is make people take action. This is where you make them take a single specific action from this point. Tell them what to do next. This is often where you'll get a sign up or make a sale and so many people forget to put this part. There needs to be a call to action, a CTA, 
somewhere in your email or whatever this is, you're making a video script. It doesn't really matter. There has to be something they need to do at the end, whether that's smash the like button, whether it's subscribe to a podcast, whether it's enter an email, or whether it's to click purchase on something. You got to give people an action to take after you've pitched. Example one, sign up to our email newsletter right here to get updates. So you're telling people at the bottom of a page to sign up to the email newsletter to get updates. So likely they will just enter their email address. At least they know to do that at the end. Example number two, join the members area and get unlimited access to the trainings. So you're telling them to take an action of join a members area. And then example number three is reply to this email with your phone number and I will call you. So you're basically telling them to reply to the email with a specific thing, their phone number, and that you will call them. So these are great examples of an action to take at the very end. You can also give people actions like, hey, clean your room or don't leave dishes in the sink. And you can use this whole ADA formula to craft that argument, which is kind of neat. Now, here's an example of the ADA formula, and we're going to try to sell someone a helicopter. That's right, a helicopter. So using the ADA formula as a base, let's see if we can convince someone to buy this helicopter. Now, it's really hard to start off with a blank page, but with the ADA formula, we literally just have to fill in the attention, interest, desire, and action sections, and we kind of have a basic cold email pitch or a sales page pitch or a video script. So let's grab their attention with the attention section over here. We'll say, hey, Jason, you know how that drive from your apartment to the office is so brutal that you end up cursing at everyone who cuts in front of you? Well, if you had a helicopter, that wouldn't even be an issue. <laughs> That's kind of an interesting attention grabber. So let's interest them with some interesting facts about a helicopter. So with the helicopter, you would get to work in only 20% of the time, have no more frustration when you get to work, have a fun ride to wherever you want in the city within minutes, and you wouldn't have to live by the rules normal people do. Ooh, that's interesting. So now let's make Jason desire this helicopter. So your time is worth about $200 an hour, and since you spend an average of 300 extra hours in traffic each year, you're losing out on $60,000 in income. Not to mention, after all that frustrating traffic, work is the last thing you want to do. That's why having a helicopter would make your life so much more enjoyable and even help you make more money and just make you look kind of awesome. So we're trying to make Jason desire this helicopter, put a little seedling in his head that he totally should buy this. And then the action. This is where we get Jason to take an action to purchase the helicopter. So I have three people looking to sell their helicopters right now, and I want to show them to you. Where can I send you the specs and prices of these helicopters? Also, if you'd like to call me, just pick up the phone and dial number, and I'll answer any questions you have. Sincerely, your name. And then I always like to add a little PS, little little PS, something like that, just to, just to kind of uh, tantalate them a little bit more. So I would say, PS, the CEO of Ardent Labs here in town has a helicopter, and he said it was the number one thing that made him want to come to work each morning. So all we did was make a pitch for this guy to buy a, a freaking helicopter, but all we did was follow the ADA formula, attention, interest, desire, action. And look, now we have an entire completed sales pitch that we can send out in a cold email. This could be a phone script. This could be a video script. This could be a sales page. This could be in a brochure. This could be a one pager. This could be all sorts of stuff. And if we wanna make it a really long sales page, all we have to do is add some more stuff to each of these sections. So that is the ADA formula. It is by far one of the most helpful sales formulas on the planet, in my opinion. There's a lot of copywriting formulas out here, but in my opinion, this is the bar none number one formula that you will use almost every single time. And see how much easier it was to pitch since all we had to do was follow this formula. We have to set it a blank page and think of what to write or anything like that. So I sincerely hope you use this formula to help you write content, emails, and everything else much easier. We have a free ADA formula template that you can use. It's in the form of a Google Doc. So if you enter your email, we'll send it directly to your email. And this is honestly the exact same template that we give and use to Fortune 500 companies when we do consulting. This is a great template to use before you start writing. And you can keep this as a Google Doc or a PDF or a Word Doc and just keep it in your files for any time. Or anytime someone needs to write something and they're not sure what to do, just give them this doc.
So did you know that if you sign up for the copywriting course members area, our team of professional copywriters, including myself, will review your copy, make sure it's properly aided, and give you unlimited help and feedback on it? In addition, you also get all of our courses, all of our modules, all of our office hours where you can talk to us live, all of our 365 day a week feedback process and forum. So it's a really, really cool value. If you sell anything online, you should be part of the copywriting course. It is so unbelievably cheap for what you get. I think it's one of the best values for any growth stage company or startup. And I hope you join and I see you inside and we'll get ready and start to ADA formula your copy. My name is Neville Medora. Thank you so much. I will talk to you later. Have fun ADAing.